1 amp, 1 1.17, 1.37, 1.49, 1.74, 2 amps. Right, um, this is a demonstration of conduction through glass, and specifically a thermal runaway. It's a slightly dangerous experiment, so we have to be a little bit careful about the old health and safety here. Uh, because what we've got is a glass rod, a soda glass rod, approximately 8 millimetres in diameter, sitting between two coiled heavy copper wires, which are connected via various safety mechanisms to the mains. At the moment it's not connected. We've got a power meter over here, which will show us the current flowing. And what we intend to do is to show initially that when the rod is cold, there is very little conduction, very little current flow. If we heat the rod, we would expect the sodium ions to become more mobile. As they become more mobile, the resistance will drop, which means that we'll get a bigger current flow. Bigger current flow means a greater heating effect, P equals I squared R which means the rod should start to self-heat. As it gets hotter, more current flows, which means the heating effect will increase, which means the resistance drops further, and we should see thermal runaway, fingers crossed. In other words, it will heat and then ultimately melt and break the circuit. We should also see an orange sparkly glow, which is indicative of high, uh, sodium ion Losing energy and emitting photons. Um, normally we'd do this behind a safety screen and usually we'd have a student reading out the currents here. Uh, but Andy Jackson who set this up for us has tweaked it so fingers crossed it works all the time now. Uh, we'll be reading out the numbers for us. Um, I'll provide a link to uh, an in an information sheet on this if anybody wants to make it up. It's fine to do in schools and colleges as long as you're careful. Right, we're going to provide some heat initially from a Bunsen. And once the current hits 0.5 amps, about 0.5 amps, we should be able to take the Bunsen away and then hopefully self-heating and thermal runaway will take over. With students you can use this to show that or illustrate that conduction is not just due to electrons, sodium ions here. Two, you can discuss P equals I squared R, the energy dissipated in resistor, and for a more advanced group, you could talk about thermal runaway and what is a positive feedback system, obviously something that engineers will try and avoid as a rule. Right, so, let's see if we Right, we're going to have a go at demonstrating ionic conduction in soda glass. Um, our technician Andy Jackson has set this up for us and hopefully she'll work. Can be a bit temperamental. We have a soda glass rod, approximately 8 millimetres in diameter. And we have to be careful here. Between two copper contacts, heavy copper coils of wire connected uh, to a main supply via a safety device and a power meter. We have an earthed Bunsen in case of conduction down the flame and we have a pretend student, Mr Jackson on standby, to read out the, the current. So we start to heat and we apply the current. Sorry we've applied the PD. Oops. Hopefully we'll see an orange glow. Due oh, it's to, not for the due to so thank you. Due to sodium ions moving. Sparkly orange glow. We can talk about P equals I squared R. A negative temperature coefficient of resistance. 
as the temperature goes up the resistance drops leading to thermal runaway and with a keener class you could possibly talk about a positive feedback system it's a nice demo normally done with a safety screen but ours is a bit mucky so we're doing it without today wafting it backwards and forwards a bit. Presumably to hit the glass under the contacts. Back to the centre. Two amps, two point three, two point five, beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> Lovely <was> job. Really, <laughs> I was really worried about that when it slowed right down. I thought, oh no. Excellent. Well, there you go. The, uh, ionic conduction with a nice orange glow, thermal runaway, lots of stuff to keep AS and second year A level students happy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jackson.